over 300 animals are slaughtered here every day. The west from Kampala's biggest slaughterhouse finds its way through this small west channel. Here, it is trapped and put to better use. We pump uh, waste water from the drainage channel uh, or collection chamber uh, using a water pump into uh, hydrolysis tank. Hydrolysis tank is the first stage uh, where treatment, treatment of wastewater takes place. This biogas plant currently uses only 40% of the abattoir waste. The waste is broken down in the process carried out in sealed containers. And within the containers, a mixture of water and organic waste generates the biogas. The gaseous components is methane, which is the most important component of biogas because it is the one which burns to produce electricity and to produce energy. This fuel alternative has benefited the abattoir using the power generated here to run its freezers and lighting. The plant here produces 10 to 15 cubic meters of biogas per day, while existing policies allow for an increased use of this kind of energy, there is still a need for its large-scale production. Across Africa, the use of biogas is increasing in popularity. But many households and industries are still slow to embrace the cheaper sources of energy. If you tell someone that uh, this energy or the biogas that is coming out of this waste, the way they look at it uh, can be used for cooking purposes, they think uh, that, 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 uh, that, that gas <coughs> is as polluted as the waste itself, which is not the case. So the mindset of people needs to be somehow changed. Biogas partnerships across the continent are now aiming to install over 100,000 biogas plants in Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania, Burkina Faso and Uganda by 2017. The input costs may not be as high as uh, the you know, construction of a hydro uh, power dam. So there is a need for local support from our governments to uh, support these kind of initiatives and then scale them up. It is also expected that with increased investment in biogas technologies, households and industries will be able to generate their own power, save on electricity and reduce waste. Leon Senyange, CCTV, Kampala.